people. Sorry, the audio is gonna be a little screwed up right now because I am running the air conditioner. Because if I don't, I'm gonna sweat my balls off and the GoPro is probably gonna turn off because of the heat. But I'm leaving Jersey right now. I'm on Route 73 heading into Tacony Bridge. For you, those of you around the country or the world going, what? I'm sorry for my local people who uh, follow me. Uh, I was at a Cars and Coffee this morning. Really nice cars and coffee. I've done it before in the past. They put on a nice show. A lot of different vehicles show up. Everything from your Ferraris and Porsches to your classic Nova Yanko I saw today. A guy, Mark, um, who's from my neighborhood. And I've seen his car at other places. I finally got to meet him today. Real good dude. He built this thing from the ground up. I might have a short clip in a video you can see in a second. I didn't really take my camera out. But a lot of different vehicles there. I mean... You'll get Bentleys, you'll get Porsches, you'll get uh, Baja buggies. I mean, there was a, a yellow uh, punch buggy there that was built for the beach. There's all kinds of stuff there. You got your modern Hemis, you've got your old Hemis, your classics, you know, your supercars, and um, and you have your Jeep SUV that never gets any love. Although, uh, there were a couple people who were intrigued to find out that how much horsepower this thing's now putting down because it's still a soccer mom grocery getting brick. I mean, let's face it, you know, this is what you drop the kids off to school in. It's not really something that people consider um, a sporty or a race car. It's an SUV. I get that. <laughs> I'm completely fine with that because I also like hurting feelings with it when somebody in a BMW or a Mustang pulls up next to me and they're like, oh, it's just a Jeep SRT. And you're like, bye. <laughs> So that's always fun. Although I've had my feelings hurt by a couple of cars too in the past. So it comes full circle, especially that Mercedes. I don't even know what the hell it was. Uh, about a year ago, just ate me alive. But that's a story for another time. So Cars and Coffee, it's run by a, a, a group. They call themselves High Octane South Jersey, HOSA or HOST J or whatever is the acronym. and. It's every Saturday starting at 8 o'clock at Miller's Ale House right next to the um, Starbucks, Route 73 and Fellowship Road, right by the Turnpike. So if you're in the area and you know what I'm talking about, head on over there. If you're not and you're not too far away and you'd like to check it out, I'll have a an address, a link down in the description. It's every Saturday. If you're bored and you want to go check out some really nice cars, all years, all models, some really nice personable people, people are all friendly. And check it out if you're a car person go check it out uh, that was today I have a wedding tonight so I'm gonna be lit off my ass so I'm gonna be really grumpy tomorrow when I do another update because I'm going to Union Tap's second annual Father's Day car show and my kids were like oh dad what do you want for Father's Day and I was like to be left alone I want to go do this car show because I'm friends with the owners and it's just a wonderful bunch of people Plus, Pete and Roman, that used to own General Grants, if you're from the area, you knew about the General Grants car show, one of the best bars in the Northeast for hanging out. And when they closed, they went and bought Union Tap. And it's more of a trendy beer selection now, but their car show is coming back. This is their second annual, and it, it, the first one I thought was good. Even though it was small, I still thought the first one was really good. So... This is technically their second annual. I thought that was their third one. Maybe it's second annual because this gas guzzlers is running it. But they have burgers and hot dogs and drinks and you get sodas and beers. And who doesn't want that on a Sunday afternoon checking out cars? Walking around with a hot dog in one hand and a beer in the other hand? I mean, that's freaking a no-brainer. So I'm going to be up there trying not to get too lit because I still have work. Monday and I don't drink as much as I used to. That's because I'm old. I'm on. I'm an old head, as the kids call me, old head. And over the years, my I guess my metabolism changed. I don't know what it is. It's like my body's like anti-alcohol or something now because I love me some beer, Ooh, especially German wheats or a Belgian red. Man, this because I was starting to drink that stuff back in Germany when I was stationed there in the 90s before the hipsters made. You know, and the beer nerds hit the world and everything is an IPA and nothing wrong with an IPA. If you like your 
your beer to taste like uh, pepper and acid. That's okay. I'm not knocking you. I, there's a couple. I have an Alchemist beer in my uh, fridge right now. Um, a heady topper. That's something I can actually stomach. But for the most part, I don't like them because it just tastes like pepper and ass. So that'll be tomorrow. Hopefully some of you guys and girls who are local will come out, check it out. If not, I'll have some videos and pictures that I will be doing uh, with the GoPro, with my phone, and I may take the, uh, the Canon 5D3 out. I don't normally take it out unless I'm, I feel like doing some professional shots. And um, it's kind of hard to do car shows because you got people walking in and out of your, your frame and it's an annoyance. So I may not take the good camera, but I'll show you. I'll show you regardless. And right now, I'm in the mood for a cheesesteak. I just passed uh, Joe's on Tarzo Ave, AKA used to be called Chinks. One of the best cheesesteaks in the city. If you're from out of town or you're visiting Philly and you want to try one of our world famous cheesesteaks, stay away from the tourist traps. Pats and Geno's are good when you're drunk at three o'clock in the morning. I know that's gonna hurt some feelings. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. They are not the best cheesesteaks in Philly. I don't even know how I got the cheesesteaks because my mouth is boring for one right now. But avoid the, those locations because it's tourist traps. I mean, they're, they still make a good cheesesteak. If you're used to crap from around the country that's garbage, yeah, it's going to taste like heaven. But if you're from the area, then you know better. And, you know, you know there are better places. D'Alessandro's, Jim, Steve's. I mean, the list is long, and then Pats and Gino's are still on the list, but they're just not in my top 10, sorry. But that's all I got, just a short, thank you guys, let me go. Uh, that's just what I got for today, short little update about the car show, and here's a quick little video of that, you can check that out right now. That's it, that's it, that's my car show video. Most people had already left and I'm like, oh shit, I better take a little quick video with the phone because to show people I was here, I don't know. I'm in one of those boots today. I got up too early for a union meeting, I'm tired, I'm, I'm hungry, and uh, I've got a wedding tonight, which I'm, a family wedding, which is gonna be awesome because my family, they're all Irish, they love to drink and um, party, so it's gonna be a good time getting tuned up with my family tonight. So that's it, people. Have a safe weekend. If I see some of you out tomorrow, come say hello. Um, thanks to the two guys who came over to say hi to me today. Uh, the guy with the uh, uh, the red Firebird, the straight pipes. Sound really sweet when you left. Keep up the good work. And I'll talk to everybody else tomorrow. All right? Have a good one, and I'm out.